Hi everybody, it's Kenton here from Kenton Young Travel. As you can probably tell, I'm a little bit sick right now. I've been sick for about the past week. I've been coughing and sneezing and body aching and all sorts of stuff. So today I thought I'll just stay in bed, right? I'll just uh, take the day, rest, sleep, try and get better. And I, I was up early this morning, I had to get some stuff done. If you saw my Instagram, I was out shopping. Uh, but I've been in bed since about noon. And about 8 o'clock is when I got up. Uh, I got a message, a text message that surprised me so much. I had to jump out of bed and find out. And as I was getting ready to go, I got two more messages that said the same thing. Now, for people who have been following my blog, uh, you might remember my spat with Jack Keaton's a couple years ago. Um, I was trying to collaborate with the management there about my blog and the owners decided to ghost me and not reply to my emails. So after months of trying to contact them, I maybe didn't make the most mature, uh, thing and i'll admit to that i wrote a negative review on the facebook and i said in it you know food was good stuff was good but the um management was difficult to deal with quickly after the owner of the company replied and uh after a brief exchange he told me to get off my ass and come to his restaurant and try his food so i took that as a challenge and i did that the following day and i did a review about his restaurant and his food and uh it it wasn't a good review and perhaps it was subjective, perhaps it should have been a little less mean, but I was upset, and uh, it wasn't not true. I broke down everything, what had happened, the previous correspondence, and I got a bit of heat for it. People said, like, it was too subjective, it should have been objective, or that I ordered the chicken when I should have had the ribs, and I understand that now. I'm sorry I ordered the ribs, or ordered the chicken. Sorry about that. It was a special that day. If I'd known it would have been such an issue, I would have ordered the ribs. Either way, uh, so that article, uh, they didn't like it. And the story goes that they contacted a lawyer who then contacted my advertisers to try to make me lose money. Now, I've never seen the letters that they sent, and I never had confirmation from Jack Keaton that it was them. But to my understanding, that's how it happened. Um, as well, somebody contacted Tourism Regina, who I used to write for, and Tourism Regina called me, in the middle of us working through some upcoming articles and said, I'm no longer affiliated with them. And that's why we no longer work together. And I, I'm openly, I openly talk about that on my blog once in a while. Um, not everyone knows that and they don't talk about it. It's fine. Uh, I understand they have policies against writing for, or writing negative reviews about local restaurants. I wish I had known that at the time, but I didn't, but eh, that it, that's it. I don't have any hard feelings towards them. I don't know how they feel about me, but that's how it is. Uh, so, a few months later, I thought everything had kind of died down, but their social media coordinator for Jack Keaton's was at this uh, big event about social media management in Regina and chose to highlight me as somebody how not to run social media, <laughs> to put it bluntly. A lot of people were very offended by this because I was well-known in the city and it was very damaging. And a lot of people actually stepped up and defended me, which was great to hear because I don't ever really hear feedback about my blog, so it's great to hear people actually like read it and like that I'm somewhat respected. So flash forward a year and a half, I haven't heard anything from Jack Keaton's in a long time. I've often thought I should go by and do another, do another review, but it's not something that I really want to do, right? So today, February 15th, 2020, I'm laying in bed, tired, sick. I get a message that said, Jack Keaton's has closed. And as I was getting ready, I got two more that said that. And actually, as I'm filming this, I'm getting more. They're saying, can you confirm? Can you confirm it's closed? And I decided to get off my ass and go to the restaurant and find out. So I'm going to drive there and I will let you guys know what I find. To clarify, I never want a local business to close. I don't like the owners, but I don't, I didn't care for the food. But it's always sad to see a local business close, especially for all the local employees that they employ and they pay. I hope they were given notice and I hope everything is okay. But we're going to go find out and see if Jack Eaton's is indeed closed. Hi again everybody, it's Kenton here from Kenton de Young Travel. This time we're out of the car and back into the cold. And uh, it's been about an hour since I got the news, so I thought I would come and find out. Now, uh... I drove in such a way that I couldn't see if the lights were on or not and thought we would walk there together. Since, you know, that's what the owner wanted me to do, was to actually get off my ass and and come into the restaurant. Now, I don't often swear on my blog, but, you know, it's a quote, so it's okay. It's okay, Mom. So we're walking around the corner. 
It looks dark inside. And the lights are on inside, but it doesn't look like anyone's there. Let's get closer and find out. I'll even flip the camera so you guys can see it too. So you can see the lights are on inside, but they're pretty dim. I don't know, but I... The way it looks... Hold sorry, so you can't see the plates. Uh, the way it looks... It looks closed? Yes, look at that! Look at that! Let's go, let's go inside and find out. There's people back there probably wondering what the heck I was doing. Often I wonder, I wonder that too sometimes. the box and it's locked I guess it's true and again it doesn't make me happy to see the local business closed and I hope it's uh hope it's temporary but uh and I hope all the employees are given compensation I hope everyone was paid out properly but it does make me wonder why the Facebook page says they're still open. Oh, you can kind of see inside from down here. Not much. You can't see much though, because they were too low. And I don't want to get too snoopy <laughs> any more than I already am. But it does look like it's closed. But that then brings um, up the question what about their other location, the Poor House, which opened up only like a year ago? Let's go there next and find out, see what's going on. Hi again, it's Kenton here. Uh, apparently, I've been out of the loop for a few months, and their uh, the Poor House location closed, like last year. <laughs> I didn't know about it. Uh, so, sad to see, still, that it's closed, but uh, but not related to current events. As I was driving here, I was thinking that it's possible that Jack Keen's just changing locations. That maybe they're relocating somewhere else because they used to be up uh, on Rochdale where I used to go to school. So maybe they just moved again and they're in the process of moving and they just haven't told anybody. I'm hoping that's the case. I never want to see a small business close. I never want to see a restaurant close. Especially one has been so established in Regina. Uh, I guess we'll find out what happens in the upcoming weeks and months. I hope them the best. I hope everyone's okay. I hope the employees are compensated. I hope everything is fine. But as of right now... February 15th, 2020, at quarter after nine at night, and they're closed. Jack, Ke Jack Keaton's is closed. I guess that's it. That's the end of the story for now. Um, thanks for coming along tonight. Thanks for coming with me and finding out what the, what's going on. I'm going back to bed because <laughs> I'm still not feeling good. Hopefully next time I see you, I'll be feeling better. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.